Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to teach you how to take any finger ring. It can be borrowed from a spectator or your own. I'm going to teach you how to just take it and pull it through each one of your fingers. And that last one, you can just pull it right through just like that. Let's go ahead and learn how to do that right now. So this trick is actually fairly simple. Um, you can actually borrow a ring from a spectator. You're going to want it to be a smooth ring, meaning no rocks on it, just smooth all the way around, just like a band, a wedding band, or anything like that. Um, you get your ring, take it back from the spectator. Instead of pushing it all the way onto your finger, you're going to want it above that middle knuckle so it kind of just slides around. You're going to want it about right there. The hand without the ring is going to act as cover. As you come down, this is what's happening. You're coming down when this hand blocks your index and thumb. The two tips of the thumb and index are connecting like that. And you're dropping the ring off to your thumb. As the thumb comes down to drop it to the pinky, your hand's coming down as well. So you drop it off under the cover of this hand. All in the motion of acting like you're pushing it onto your first finger and tightening it like that. And then you put all four fingers through, and then you act like you pull it through all four fingers. I'm going to switch back around front and show you more of an exposed performance view. You take the ring, and what's happening right here, when this hand covers your index and thumb right here, your index and thumb are connecting, you're dropping it off, and then you straighten that finger back out. And when this hand covers your pinky, you're letting that thumb come down and connect to your pinky and you're dropping the ring off to your pinky just like that all in the motion of coming down acting like you're putting it on your first finger and then you pull it through so this is what's happening at full speed just like that a back view is you're taking your ring and you're coming down just like that you push on and then you pull through so in full speed it'll be like okay there's your ring you're coming down putting it on and then you pull through just like that I'll do it one more time in slow motion for you guys show the ring as you come down to act like you're gonna push it onto your first finger what's happening is you're coming down right there when this hand blocks the index and thumb you're dropping it off straighten your finger back out at the same time you're dropping the ring to your pinky act like you tighten it on there put all four fingers through and then just pull and act like it's going through each finger and the ending where I pull it through the pinky is very very simple you're just going to relax your pinky it's gonna end like that when you pull it through at the end of your pinky you're gonna come up move the ring to about half of your pinky and then you're gonna relax it fully relax your pinky as you come forward with this hand and move back a little with this hand it creates the illusion that it's popping right through your pinky when in reality with that pinky fully relaxed you're just pulling it off just like that so it's kinda like a hands are quicker than the eye thing if you just pull it off and line back up to where you were it creates the illusion that the ring is just popping straight through your finger so uh, yeah that's it for this trick again all in that one motion and then you pull it through the ring magic video I posted last week where I show you guys how to take a ring and banish it. This is actually a great opener for that trick. If you take it and then you make it go through all of your fingers and then pop it off and then you do that banish, it creates an amazing routine you can do with any spectator's borrowed ring or your own ring, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't watch that video, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Go check it out. It's an awesome banish. Uh, but yeah. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. It helps me out. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. I think I'm at like 825 right now. So yeah, any anything you guys can do is greatly appreciated. Uh, but yeah, that's it. And I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching.